Hello everyone, uh, this is Mustafa Youssef, an assistant professor at AUC Egypt. Uh, in this tutorial, I will be uh, following up on the previous ones by showing how to install Quantum Espresso, which is a density functional theory plane wave code uh, on Ubuntu. Uh, I am assuming that the previous tutorials have been followed carefully and as such, all the necessary libraries are available uh, are available or installed on the event, on the Ubuntu virtual machine. So let me start by sharing screen, and I can actually write uh, quantum espresso. Go to the main page. Uh, apparently, there is a new version here, so version number eight. Let's go get it from GitHub. Uh, these are the new implementations or the new updates in this version, uh, fixes, um, incompatible chains, and here we go. That's actually basically uh, the installation folder that contains the source files. Let's download this one. Uh, so I already did this exercise by downloading this. It's about 70, 77 uh, megabyte. It goes automatically uh, to your uh, you know, your download folders. Uh, if we want, we can uh, put it in software, uh, the software directory that we prepared. So we move it from the download to the software as we learned before using the move command. Uh, it's this one here. And then we uncompress it with, let's actually make this a little bit larger uh, by zooming in. So we uncompress it by tar zxpf uh, qe. And here we go, we have all the files. This is the uncompressed folder now, qe version 6.8. So I go to the folder. Uh, the developers of Quantum Espresso made it quite straightforward to uh, basically uh, do the installation uh, of all the back the software inside this package. So this package has a plane wave density functional theory code. It has an object elastic band code. It has a phonons code, and so on and so forth. Uh, we will we can actually compile all of them at once. Uh, but to start, we need uh, to um, to to use the configure file, which was prepared by the developers of this package. Uh, so dot slash configure. What configure does, it basically searches in this machine about available libraries, compilers, and so on. And, and essentially, if it goes back uh, to show success, uh, that essentially means that you know the preparation for the installation is ready. Of course, one can, um, can try to play around with the installation uh, options by trying to edit in the uh, make file, um, make. Uh, INT, uh, which was actually edited by the configuration, by the configure uh, script. Uh, if you know what you are doing, then yes, please do this because you might actually uh, improve the performance of your simulation. If you don't really know much about uh, these details, then let's just rely on what configure found. And then we uh, are ready now to, uh, to install everything. So let's say make all. So essentially what make all does, it makes all the available, it compiles all the available software uh, inside Quantum Espresso. And as I said, there are uh, pretty much uh, several uh, software inside this package. So there is the bw.x, which is a density functional theory code. There is uh, the phonons code, uh, density, there is, I think, uh, one for Najid Elastic Band, for um, post-processing utilities, and so on and so forth. So at this stage, I'm going to stop the recording and return after this installation finishes. Okay, so we resume. Apparently, uh, the installation is finished. Uh, so uh, the last code out of this package has been uh, has been installed, which is apparently GWW. Let's uh, let's try to ls here. There is this folder called uh, bin, the bin folder. Let's go to it and ls. It actually contains all the codes that has been compiled. 
Uh, as I said, pw.x is the key one. This is the density functional theory code. Um, other codes available, pb.x is a post-processing utility. Uh, there is this one, uh, cb.x, where can we find it? C -P. So ev.x, it does equation of state fitting. Uh, cb.x is Carparinello molecular dynamics code, and so on and so on. And uh, so, so on, so on. So that's basically where we stop. And supposedly now the installation is uh, complete. Thank you.